Hello everybody, welcome to Yoga for Self Love with Kim. I'm Kim. This will be a short, gentle practice, standing practice today. So we'll be up on our feet through the duration, but it won't be too long. So come and join me on the mat. Bring yourself to standing. And just shake out the feet. And then find your standing position. Feet underneath the sitting bones. Rooting down into your feet. Keep the knees soft so you're not locking out through the knees. Root down through the ball under the big toe, ball under the little toe, center of the heel. Press down through the feet. For a moment, lift up all your toes and spread your toes. Feel the arches of the feet begin to lift. Feel the inner legs begin to engage. Relax the toes back down. Imagine rooting from the waist down through the legs and then lifting from the waist up through the upper body, up through the crown of the head. Take your pinky fingers, tips of the pinky fingers together, thumbs up, elbows out to the sides, and the hands right in front of the chest. Finding this Kanista Mudra to find some grounding, rooting energy, some expansion through the chest. You can close your eyes here. We'll just start here. Feeling our weight grounding down into the earth and feeling our spine nice and long, the crown of the head reaching up. Feeling this connection to earth and sky. Take a moment to call yourself in, all the parts of you. Allow yourself to arrive wherever your mind has been, whatever it's been thinking through, processing, working on. Let go of all of that for now. And bring yourself inward into your body, connecting in with your breath and taking this sacred time just for you and for your yoga practice. Nice, deep, smooth breaths in and out through the nose or in through the nose and out through your mouth. And check in. How are you doing today? How do you feel mentally, physically, emotionally, energetically? No judgment. Honor wherever you are. As always, I invite you to bring in the intention to be gentle, kind, patient, loving and compassionate with yourself. Just honor where you are. No need to push. Just let yourself be. And then release your hands. Still keeping the knees soft here. As you root down through the feet, let's take the arms out to the sides and up with an inhalation. And then as you exhale, release the arms back down to the sides. Inhale as you press down through the feet, knees soft, arms reach all the way up and out, arms come up overhead. And then as you exhale, arms come back down. A few more, inhaling the arms up, exhaling as you release the arms down, finding your breath here, your pace. And then we'll bring the palms together in front of the heart, finger pads together, fingers, palms, hands pressing into each other, finding a little resistance. And now we'll separate the palms, keep the finger pads together, begin to reach the arms up overhead, spear mudra, again, rooting down through the feet as you reach up and out through the fingers. Finding natural curves of the spine, nice and tall. Opening up through the side body, wiggling the sides of the waist long. A 
few deep breaths here. And then release the hands, take your right fingers to circle that left wrist. Soften the knees, press down through the feet. Then gently arch yourself over towards the right side. Feeling this opening through the left side body. Nice and spacious. You can look down or you can look up wherever it feels okay for the neck. And then root into the feet as you bring yourself back up to center. Now switch, take the left fingers to circle your right wrist, pressing down through the feet, spine nice and long and begin to fold yourself over towards the left now. Reaching out through those right fingers, down through that right foot. And then bring yourself back up to center. Switch it again, one more time to each side. So now right fingers will circle that left wrist again. Press down through the feet, lengthen up through the spine and then fold it over to the right. To your degree. Breathing, deep, smooth, steady, and then back up to center, switching the grip again. Left finger circle, right wrist, press down through the feet, long through the spine, and you arch yourself over to the left. And then back up to center, you come. Palms come back together at the heart, and now we'll interlace fingers at the low back, elbows bent. Press the knuckles into the sacrum as you root down into the feet. Crown of the head lifts, heart lifts. You can keep the hands pressing into the low back or maybe if it's available to you, begin to straighten the arms a little bit and pull the arms up off of the back. And then release the hands. Now take the hands behind the head. You can interlace the fingers or just one hand on top of the other or take your finger pads to the back sides of the skull and take the elbows wide again rooting down through the legs wiggling side body long low back drawing in and up front body sweeping in and up elbows wide if you lift the heart a little bit maybe allow the gaze to shift up a little bit letting this upper back bend and then drawing through the belly as you bring yourself back to center, keeping the elbows wide. You'll begin to spin from the sternum over towards the left. Come back to center and then we'll spin from the sternum over towards the right. Back to center and then again spinning over to the left. Back to center. Spin yourself over towards the right. Come back to center, press down through the feet, lift up the heart one more time, lift up the gaze, and then draw in through the belly, bring yourself back to center, release the hands down. Step your feet out wide, arms reach wide for five pointed star. And then we'll Release arms down, soften knees, turn right toes out towards the top of the mat. Hips, shoulders still facing long edge of the mat here. And begin to bend that right knee a little bit and then straighten that right leg. And as you do, begin to hinge from this right hip, fold your body over towards the right side. So we're coming into a triangle modification. Not going too deep here. You can keep hands on the sides of the rib cage or maybe release right fingers down to that right thigh or shin. Left hand can stay on that left side body or reach up. And again, you shift your gaze wherever it feels okay for you, for your neck. Soften that right knee, press into that right foot, bring yourself back up to center, turn that right foot in. We'll turn that left foot out towards other end of the mat. Hips, pelvis, shoulders facing long edge of your mat. We'll bend that left knee and then begin to straighten the left leg as you pull the hips back, hinge from the left hip, side bending over towards the left. 
keeping both sides of the body nice and long. So little triangle action here, not going too deep. Left fingers to the left thigh or that left shin. Right hand can stay on that hip or side body or open up towards the ceiling. And then right hand comes back down. You soften that left knee, press into the foot, bring yourself back up to center. Let's take arms wide again, five-pointed star. And then release arms down over to the other side again. Soften the knees, turn the right toes back up towards the other end of that mat. And then we'll bend that right knee. Begin to straighten the right leg, but still keep a little micro bend in that knee so you're not locking the knee. Hinge from that right hip, folding over towards the right. Triangle modification. And then press into that right foot, soften that right knee, press yourself back up. Right foot turns in, left toes turn towards the other side of the mat. Hips, shoulders, pelvis back towards that long edge of your mat. We'll bend that left knee, begin to straighten or make that leg a little bit straighter as you fold yourself over towards the left. Your version with the hands, whatever you like here. And then release that right arm down. Bend that left knee, press into that foot, and lift yourself back up. Now we'll turn to face top of your mat. Take it into a pyramid pose here. We'll step the right foot back a couple of feet, so not a very long stance. Hips facing up towards top of the mat, so that right hip rolling forward a little bit, left hip pulling back a little bit. Let's interlace fingers at the low back, elbows out to the sides, knuckles pressing into your sacrum. Press down through your feet, Lift your heart up, deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we'll begin to hinge from the hips and fold forward. You could put a big or little bend in this left knee if you like. It'll be a little easier for you to fold forward with a bend in that knee. So we're hinging from the hips, not rounding through the back here. You come forward to your degree. Pressing down into the feet, lifting in and up through the belly, reaching out through the crown of the head. Legs nice and strong. Press down into the feet, soften left knee, lift yourself back up. Release hands, let's switch up the legs. Right foot will step forward and then left foot will step back now. Left hip rolling forward a little bit, right hip pulling back a little bit. Again, we interlace fingers at the low back. Soften that right knee. We'll begin to slowly hinge it forward. Again, you keep that bend in that right knee if you need it and just bring it forward to your degree. And then press into that right foot, lift yourself up. Let's step it forward, release hands. And let's do it one more time on each side. Right foot will step back, left foot is forward. Interlace fingers, elbows wide. And then again, we begin to fold it forward, hinging from the hips. Come forward to your degree, nice and easy. Gentle, lovingly. And then we press into that left foot, begin to lift all the way back up. Other side, release hands, switch up the legs, right foot forward, left foot back. Interlace fingers again. And then we'll fold it forward, hinging from the hips, finding our pyramid pose. And press into that right foot, soften that knee and lift yourself, come all the way back up. Step that left foot up. Now release the hands, we'll soften the knees. Step the right foot around and behind the left foot so we'll come off of your mat over towards the left side. Reach arms up. Left fingers circle that right wrist and begin to fold yourself over to the left. 
back up to center, release hands down. Other side, we'll step the left foot around behind over towards that right side. So we'll be off the mat. Arms reach up, right fingers circle that left wrist. Gently arch it over towards the right. And then back through center, you come one more time to each side. Step right foot off the mat over towards the left. Arms reach up, left fingers circle, right wrist, you fold it left. And then back through center, other side one more time, soften knees. Sweep that left foot around over towards the right side of the mat. Arms come up, right finger, fingers circle that left wrist, and you fold it over towards the right. And then back to center, you come. We take it through a few rounds of our breath of joy. So keep knees soft here. So we'll take our inhalation in, in three parts and then one long exhale. So we'll inhale, bring the arms forward, pull them back, inhale the arms out, inhale the arms up, exhale. Inhale, arms forward, inhale out to the sides. Inhale, lift the arms up, exhale, let it out, soften the knees, bring it forward. Couple more rounds, inhale, arms forward, inhale to the sides, inhale the arms up, exhale, soften these arms, let it out. Couple more. One more. Bring it back up, palms together at the heart. Let's take the pinky fingers together, tips of the pinkies together, thumbs up, fingers draw in towards the chest, elbows out to the side. Back to where we were at the beginning of our practice, our Kanista Mudra, rooting down through the legs, reaching up through the crown of the head. Nice, long spine. Come back to our attention to be gentle, kind, patient, loving, compassionate with ourselves. Maybe you begin to feel the corners of your lips turn up into a smile. <laughs> smile at yourself. Thank yourself for showing up for you, for your practice today, carving out this time for yourself. Bring palms together at the heart. May you feel safe. May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you live with ease. May your heart be open to love, compassion, and may you know joy. Thanks so much for sharing this short practice with me today with love and gratitude. Namaste.